Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will draw a tree with a pen. We begin with the trunk. We sketch the width and since this will be an old tree with character, we draw a hole and we give it a rugged and uneven shape. We darken the hole. I will be shading with short lines. And to darken even more I cross them, hatching and cross hatching. I want the trunk to have some texture and that is why I do these lines over here. Very good. I love drawing trees. On the left side it will have a broken branch. We will have the trunk and a big branch going up and toward the right. And it will be one of those that have the upper part of the roots exposed. Remember that every month I am uploading two long tutorials to my new Patreon page. Visit patreon.com slash artist Leonardo. We continue doing some intricate wood texture. In almost all the tutorials I tell you to first do the big general shapes and to not do any detail until you have the main shapes resolved. This tutorial will be like an exception to the rule because this tree will keep growing and we will keep developing it as we go. I think this trunk is looking alright. I like it. And now we will draw some grass to ground it. Just a little bit, enough so that it doesn't look like it is flying. Here I already drew some branches and we will do some more. Try so that the lines of the branches don't curve. If you want it to turn, do short straight lines that break in that direction. Let's extend it a little bit further down, like this. Good. In this close-up you can see better the detail of the shading. To identify the different planes, you may do the lines in different directions. The levels that are inset generally are darker. A tip to help give the illusion of volume is to draw some of the lines following the shape of the branches, as if they were rings. I always keep a tissue paper handy to continuously clean the tip of the pen because it creates little blobs of ink that, if not removed, may stain. I am considering that the light source is on the top left and therefore the darkest shading will be on the bottom right. And we continue working. It is a lot of work, it's a big job, but it is at the same time gratifying and relaxing. Drawing a realistic tree gives you a lot of freedom. It's not like drawing people or animals where the proportions need to be nearly perfect or they look bad. Here you can do practically whatever you want, wherever you want it. That takes a lot of pressure off. As a therapy I recommend you to draw a tree. <laughs> and it's ready. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it to your friends and subscribe to Fine Art Tips. And I will see you on Tuesday.